I don't understand why you have to be so harsh in your def in your evaluation of those people. Because I look at them. Just look at them. And I don't hesitate to sacrifice whole nations. It is almost impossible to convey to a free people what it is like to live in a totalitarian dictatorship. I can tell you a lot of details. I can never completely convince you because you are free. It is in a way good that you can't even conceive of what it's like. Certainly they have friends and mothers-in-law. They attempt to live a human life, but you understand it is totally inhuman. Try to imagine living in constant terror from morning till night. At a night, you are waiting for the doorbell to ring where you are afraid of anything and everybody, where you don't know who is going to do what to you or when because you are living in a country where there is no law and any rights of any kind, where human life means nothing, less than nothing, and you know it. Once upon a time, there was a revolution. It is of supreme importance that we encourage and make use of the energy of mass terror directed against the counter-revolutionaries. A revolution the color of blood. Without mercy, without sparing, we will kill our enemies in scores of hundreds. Let them be thousands. Let them drown themselves in their own blood. They said they were building a worker's paradise. The party is always right. One cannot be right against the party. But what they ended up constructing was the biggest prison the world has ever seen. Of course the animals squeal. But why should superior people be bothered about the noise? And for every crime that was committed... Scream or not, it doesn't matter. There was someone to come to their defense. The best thought is available to the Russian people from Aristotle to Lenin. For every murder, we are not trying to bring down the mortality rate. There was an alibi. But if Russia is seriously crippled or destroyed, what good would freeing those prisoners do? For every atrocity, there was an excuse. There is no famine or actual starvation, nor is there likely to be. The Russians have tightened their belts before. There were heroes. We will let the whole thing take its course peacefully. And there were villains. There were victims. Stalls where children, babies were treated like farm animals. No, I'm wrong. At least the animals felt brave enough to make a noise and there were victors. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on Earth. This is the history lesson they never bothered to teach you in school. From the author of Dear Reader, and the new right, and the organizer of the Anarchist Handbook, comes the revolutionary new book that will change the way you look at our world. The White Pill, A Tale of Good and Evil. Available now at whitepillbook.com.